When you're creating and using virtual machines in Windows Azure, it's always a best practice to have more than one virtual machine servicing the same application or the same requests from your clients. In other words, implementing high availability. In any environment that uses virtual machines, it's uh, very easy to create additional virtual machines because they are just files that we can create quickly and easily. So Windows Azure provides the same service. We can have multiple systems running together to provide increased availability in the event that one of the servers goes down or a switch breaks or anything along those lines that might interrupt your services. So I already have a single virtual machine configured here up and running, uh, very little configured on it, but let's have a quick look at um, creating an availability set for our virtual machines. So for starters, we're just going to click on the server here. And if I go to my configure tab, then what I see here is just the basic configuration for the size. But right there you see is this option for the availability set. And I have the choice right here to select an, avail an availability set. Since I don't have one, what I can do is I can go ahead and create one. Now, there's a number of ways that you can go about this process. You can create availability sets when you create virtual machines, or as you can see here, we can do it after the fact. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this option to create an availability set, and we just have to give it a name. So let's call this my new high availability set. Okay, so that's all we have to do is supply a name for that and then go ahead and save this option. Now, that's going to take a few minutes to, to configure and create. It's going to give us a warning here that uh, it's got to save the changes and it's probably going to restart. So we're just going to say yes. And we're going to let that go about its business. And as you can see here, that's configuring the changes for that. And again, it's creating the availability set. So we'll let that go and we'll check back. But then once we uh, once we complete this process, we, what we can then do is to create a new virtual machine and add it into the availability set. Okay, so that process has completed, and you can see now that it shows the availability set uh, and that the virtual machine is is currently in this one. So there's my first one in that set. Now you'll notice a message pops up here telling me that the availability set for this virtual machine has only one running instance. In other words, it did not just automatically... Uh, duplicate that system. It's still up to us to create a new virtual machine and then add it into the availability set. Now, again, there's a couple of different ways you can do that as well, but let's just go through the process of creating a new virtual machine and we'll see how we can do that. Now, just before I go and do that, I'm just going to click over here on my all items link and you'll notice that the way that they approach it in Azure is that we've got a virtual machine here and then we also have the same name it looks like a duplicate virtual machine but that's actually not uh, it's not a duplicate system the way that Azure approaches it is to create what's called a cloud service which basically if you will hosts that virtual machine so we'll see this in a second when we go to create the the new system but it's actually the cloud service that we have to reference when we create the new one to add it into the availability group so we're just going to go back into our virtual machines here and we're going to click on our new link and we're just going to go to the virtual machine option and we're going to choose from gallery in this case so we're going to choose the same pretty much the exact same server configuration and we're just going to put in a new name let's just call this server 2 for the time being and we'll pretty much give it the exact same specifications that's always recommended when you're doing redundant systems and we're going to hit next so here's the option right here. Every time you create a virtual machine, it wants to create a cloud service that contains it or supports it. So we're just going to go and choose this one, and you'll see that there's the existing virtual machine in the cloud service. Now that I've chosen that, you can see down here under availability set, I can hit my drop down, and there is my new high availability set. So I can just complete this wizard down with everything in there. 
and that system will now fire itself up and it will be part of that new availability set. There's lots of other configuration options that we can do after the fact, but that's the basics of creating the availability set with your multiple servers.